Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War Attila with the 1212 AD mod. Not sure how to call it, whether I want to call it the 1212 AD mod directly or should I call it Attila still. I'll probably just say the 1212 AD mod from now on. I woke up, I'm still feeling a bit uh, groggy, a bit sleepy. It's a bit hard to get out of this sensation, but I wanted to play this game. It's not, it wasn't really excitement. It feels more like um, curiosity. I think that is the best way to describe it. Like I'm very curious about what this game has to offer and how we can get it. And so I'm thinking, of what to do next, like what should I be recruiting, how should I get some economy going. For now, we are still recouping some troops. I am thinking that what I should be probably doing is go and attack Belgrade. This will open ourselves up to Serbia as well. But this looks like a bigger city and I think I want it. There's also gold here to the north, which seems like a, a very desirable resource however we do not have the money we don't have the money yet to throw in one of these copper veins so I'm thinking that maybe we'll take Belgrade over and then I'm gonna go over here to the Pacts or south to Albania to Serbia and uh, did I say Albania earlier yeah I think I did. anyway to Serbia and we'll attack it and sack it so I am thinking that probably sacking would be a better idea right now in order to consolidate a few of our territories. It doesn't really seem to be a winning strategy to just take these territories over if we do not have the economy to support it. Let's see, he wants an office as well. I mean, right now, I don't think why I should be... This is not really the right office for him. I mean, he could stay there because he's a governor, but anyway. Well, let's see what we could do. Should I go just directly in this direction and start taking over some of these? Like, it seems like he's getting this 20 per turn. That means he has an army there. That is definitely the case. So let's get closer to this territory. And I'm going to put ourselves in the fortify position just to replenish a few more troops before going even further. And here we're losing. There's a lot of public order that we're losing per turn. Could go up in tax level once. I don't lose this much money. But maybe what I'll do, I'll just siege Belgrade and sack it first. And then I'll return back, protect these territories of ours. They've recruited general. Or brought in a general. It seems recruited. It has only one rank. So how do you want to do this? Yeah, that, those are like six more troops up to with these ones. Oh, uh, what if I just go ahead like that would take, we would take attrition if we would to do it like that. Maybe I'll just start raiding on the next turn. Yeah, we don't really have money to do anything, so I'm gonna skip another turn here. Gonna be more and more problematic. Okay, now we have a battle on our hands. Do I wanna fight both of them? Let's see. Militia, Servientes, Secchiali, Cavalry. So those are archers. 
And he has here some spear sergeants, some militia, more Hungarian knights and horse art. You know what? I think I will retreat. The Mongol Empire, world has arrived of a great power rising in the east, one that is determined to conquer or destroy all in, the war, in its war path. The Mongol armies are terrifying force to behold, consisting of large amounts of light cavalry that provide their armies with extraordinary mobility. There are, the Mongols also deploy, employ weapons in their armies that are yet unheard of in Europe and Near East, but those opposing them only one thing is clear, surrender or be destroyed. Yeah. Now I really feel like going, maybe going like this. To try to sack one of these. We gain a hook, a cook. Mm. Not sure what we're gonna do going forward, but... Feels like taxing is probably the right way to go. Let's see. With you. Uh, I guess I'm gonna increase. Like the tax rate though is not that. Doesn't give us too much. Let's bring authority. Right. Work on that public order. Seems like the better plan overall. So the Hungarian armies are retreating, and they're planned to attack here, I'm guessing. Do they have enough troops to take this over? That is my question right now. A miracle, plus two to public order. A rainbow has appeared through the rain, proof if any was needed of the beauty of the Lord's good clean earth. What do we have here? Only a bodyguard. Because it's not converted. Great. So we need to convert this fort into our fort. Eesh, I don't really like that as an idea. And at this moment, there's not a whole lot that we could do here. He's gonna retreat as well. Maybe we should try to peace out. Hmm. I'm not even sure what's the right decision here. But we need money. And quick. So, yeah, let's attack like this. They will have to reinforce. So here we are. They'll be getting reinforced by sergeants, militia spears, crossbowmen, the knights, and the crossbowmen. And they do have a few troops under their belts. Let's see. If I do a knight attack, it's definitely better, but like this, we might be able to take care of all of his troops. So I'm gonna try this. A manual battle, see if I can make it, see if I can survive and even take over his city. That would be a double. Let's see what we could do. He has, I believe, like the camp have towers. I'm not sure if they have towers from the beginning. Yeah, they do. So they do have some towers here. Mm, how do we want to attack? Like we'll have some of our levy warriors here in front with archers. Hmm, 
Here I would really like to bring like some spears. With some more spears. With probably some, um, some uh, Moldavian warriors. Like that. And finally we will have our general on this side to support it. Yep. Let's go forward like that. We're gonna try to get his general with our archers. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Actually, let's push our swords. I'll bring our troops like so. The archers, where could we... Shall we start shooting in the back of those troops with heavy shots? I guess for going for the knights is probably the better idea. Okay. The reinforcements are coming from over there. It's gonna be a while away until they can actually hit us. Hmm. Maybe even better, let's see, can I do some flaming shot on these towers? Good. Then for Q, let's go with the standard shot there. Here, some extended shots, ah, not necessarily, good, let's get inside here, the enemy generally is dead, great, good, Moldavian warriors, let's take over the towers. Okay, we shouldn't really spend our ammo anymore on that. Let's come back here, it's like they're bringing their knights over. And they might even catch us here. Which is a bad play on our side, great play on his side. Um, why are they not capturing this? Let's go quickly through here. Go, go. Don't let the knights take you. Just go through the troops. Good. Okay, so we're gonna take some casualties, but I think we've avoided most of things. Most of the dangers here. Good. Okay, let's return back inside here. No. Oh. I think we'll have that troop behind there. And I don't think it's too good for it. Stay and fight please. Yeah, let's remove our general. And actually bring him over. Archers, reposition there. With you, I'm gonna engage them. Okay, I guess we'll have to retreat here. Take our Moldavian knights over here. Come on, run, horse. Don't be dumb. Yep. Okay. Well, 
Let's trick our calf and run at him. Okay. Let's reorganize some of these troops. Okay, you should there. You get engaged over here. And I'll support you with these peers. Okay, actually, let's try something slightly different. How about I bring you like that? I could bring you into shield wall as well. Okay. Let's take you out of this battle actually. And over here... I'm gonna start shooting at you. At these units. I'm gonna take some... Let them come in and take some flanks. Okay, now I want to shoot there. Okay, I'm not sure what they want to do, but I am going to be supporting them there with a shield wall. Let's see, can I go after his cap here? Good. Okay, well, I'm gonna engage with both of our troops there. That unit is still shooting there, so... Or that tower, so I'm gonna come over. problem right now that I can see is that I'm not gonna take out all of his troops because I do not have a cavalry anymore. Should have kept them more in the back. But the good part is there's not gonna be a whole lot of defenders going forward either. So maybe, just maybe, we'll have a good chance at uh, taking the city without much work. Yeah, our killing power is quite low. I mean, it feels like it takes so long to actually be able to do something here. Yeah. And we're losing a lot of troops to some of his. It's really not worth going after. Cavalry anymore. So let's see. Okay, well. The battle has ended. Yeah, they lost some of the troops, meaning, and we lost many of them. We probably lost our cap, which in a sense is not bad. We're losing gold, so. It's not all bad. Maybe now, if we can attack him again, then we'll, Belgrade will be ours. At your command. He ran just too far. Yeah. We're gonna build these.
But if his big army is coming over, we're gonna have troubles. Uh, what do we want to do? I guess I'll go with morale first. Recruitment time for nobility. That could actually come in handy. Recruitment calls would be even better for like for these troops. Experience is good. Hmm. I'm gonna go with experience for all of the troops that we have right now. Missile rate for cavalry or armor to spear units. I prefer the armor to spear units. And as far as the level up, probably the campaign movement is good. Okay. What else do we have going on here? Uh, let's move him up. We'd rather have him here. And let's end the turn and see where we'll be at. Hopefully the Hungarian army is not here. Okay. They're in a different wars and they took away his general. But question is, what do we do with Belgrade? Do I sack it or do we keep it? Settlement, okay. Sheep herd. Town barracks. And mustering ground. I mean... This is a pretty good city. It's not of our style, but... Mm. Let's quickly go on the battlefield. We have a few more minutes. It's pretty tense. It's not easy playing as Valachia. I'm sure it, it did say that we have a very hard start. I'm sure there are factions that are actually better. But I think we could do it for right now as well. Mm, any place where the towers are broken in, are here. So we'll avoid as much damage as we can. Good. I'll put this guy here. And drop the battering ram. So we'll have... You cannot place your siege towers there. I'm gonna bring you here. I'm gonna have these two like so probably. Or the battering ram, I'm gonna bring a spear. And then we'll left with two more spears. One more of these Moshen. We will have archers to support them. And these other troops will just stay in the back. I don't want them to engage anything. Okay. A tower can be placed there. I might just... I think... That what I will do is that I will just sack it or loot it or do something along those lines. I think that it might be really important to just work on that. 
nothing else. Mm, I'm not gonna engage the spears because they do have the walls advantage on them. I am going to engage the troops in the back. I do like how this mod actually brings more life to the villages. Okay, we'll take this slightly quicker. Yeah, as always, some of their troops come out. again troops coming up so let's shoot at his spears we're gonna try to cause as much damage as we can let's shoot at his crossbowman now good well we need to bring our troops forward. So that's what we'll do here. I want the swords to attack behind. I want these to engage the spears. These guys will engage this crossbowman as soon as they have a chance. Engage here, please, and quick. And with you two, I want you to come climb through here. Perfect. I think the targets, like the climbing, the pathway through here, is actually better in Total War Attila than it is in Fronts of Britannia. I'm not sure why. do this come on go forward please okay archers I'll take you off in that formation good so this broke let's Take them off fire at will. I want them inside the fortress in a second. Perfect. Here comes their cav. Come on. Mm. Ah. Here they got a really good charge on us, unfortunately. Okay, I think it's probably about the good time to bring the rest of our troops in, especially our general. bit of extended shot there Good. 
Yeah. Let's take our troops there. Actually, let's go on to like heavy shots and throw into his sergeants. Okay, and at this point it's just a tiny chase. It's about the chase more than anything else. So we're just gonna take some of them and go that way. Come on. Don't want to chase you all around the map. Tired, tired, and they are winded. Come on. Perfect. Oof. Well, we're done with that. This was difficult. But it does feel like the beginning of Total War Attila. Things are difficult in the beginning for most Total War games, but it's definitely... It has this theme in Attila. So, what do we want here? We can loot and occupy. Destroy those buildings and start from scratch. And I think this is what we should have done last time instead of just occupying. We can just plunder the settlement. You do not capture the settlement, but steal treasures and damage buildings. All captives are killed. Mm. We'll go loot and occupy here. I really feel like it's the strongest play we could have done there. And for the moment, like, what could go with this? Right, or we could go with the mine. Ah, it's a very difficult choice. Copper veins, I guess we should go, what, right? Silver deposit is something that we can make in all places, it seems. But either go copper veins or change this. I guess we'll change this to a fort to begin with. So we can protect it. It takes five turns. We have a few more territories around us. Ready for orders. Hmm. Not sure I've done the right thing. Out of favor, okay. Radu is losing some influence, that is not great. And let's take a look at our diplomacy. My salutations and the good wishes. Okay. How about if we offer you slight payment of 89? Nope. A trade aggression with a non aggression? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Kingdom of Croatia, you are a vassal of Hungary. You don't want that. Hungary? Speak if you must. Speak your speech so that I may go to the bar. Okay, well let's try something. We we don't have four territories, right? But maybe Maybe if we can get a peace treaty here. But we cannot. Hmm. This is a lot here. Welcome, welcome, my friend. We're playing paying now two hundred per turn. Okay, well I'm not sure I'm making the right choice here. It's definitely going to make the territory more defendable, right? But other than that, I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. So I'll put a cut in here in today's episode as I continue to think about it. 
and we'll come back next time. Well, maybe even destroy this barrack. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I I have to look at my forces. Just decide things in general. Like what should I be? What should my next move be? Basically. And I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue. I wish you all an, a wonderful day.